Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. All right, now this is Episode 2 of the Sunday Shave of the Day, which means in the description, I've got a link there for you to episode one, how this shave began. All right. Now we're going to continue on with my Wade and Butcher for Gentleman's Juice. This is just a marvelous razor out of the 1800s wedge, barber's notch. Excellent, excellent razor. Quite the shaver. And for our soap tonight, Henry Cavendish. And this is the Lavender. This is just a marvelous, relaxing scent, and Hendry Cavendish makes excellent soaps as well. I just really enjoy it, and I was looking for a relaxing shave tonight. So there you go. And now I did lather that up in my Vanderhagen bowl. All right, and for my brush, I've got my Omega 10,098 already loaded. Look at that. Let's go ahead and just wet that face a little bit. As I'm talking, it kind of dried out. There we go. Okay. Now, here we go. We're going to continue on. In uh, this shave, we've been talking about stretching and how to get to trouble spots and how, how things work. All right, as far as your face goes. So now KJK and uh, asked a question if I could go ahead and go ahead and show how to stretch in my cheeks. Uh, both uh, Kipros and uh, KJK uh, seem to have their biggest problem with their cheeks. So, you know, I am interested in you. Where do you have your biggest problems when you're shaving with a straight razor? In the comments, leave comments for me and let me know. Because for me, my cheeks really weren't that big of a deal. I've got bumps in, in strange places on my face that are much more problems to me than my cheeks were. But that being said, you know, everybody's different. So, you know, let us know where is your hardest part of your face to uh, shave with a straight razor. All right. And just like I say, put that in the comments below so we can actually kind of compare notes and see how it is for everybody. Now, also, this is episode two of the Sunday Shave of the Day, which means it's a pass and a half. And before I get there, though, I want to talk to you about the Friday specials. So on the first and third Friday of every month, I do shave related videos. So if you have any questions, comments, or ideas for a Friday special, normally it's not a shave, it is shave related though. Honing, stropping, those kind of things, all right? Go ahead and put that in the comments as well, and I will get to that as soon as I can for you, all right? So again, this is the Sunday Shave of the Day, episode two, which is a pass and a half. I'm gonna go cross the grain on my neck, against the grain on my cheeks. So now here, I'm stretching down and lifting my head up, and that's gonna stretch that neck. And I'm gonna blow out that cheek. Move my hand up.
Okay, now same thing down here, except for this time I'm smiling. The smile works better on my neck right there. Now I move my hand up and we're going to puff out that cheek. Alright, there we go. Now, get that razor cleaned off. And this is primarily just looking up for me and I'm going to be holding down. And I'm moving my face to get the part that I'm going to shave in the middle. It just works better for me. Now, if you're going to do that, though, only move your face sideways when the blade's not on your skin. I know it may look like I'm moving with the blade on my skin, but I'm not. There is that split second in between there that that blade is completely off my skin. All right, now I'm switching hands. I'm going to clean that off so we know where it is. And I'm basically going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to stretch down with my hand, up with my cheeks and my neck. I just move that hand up. A little smile there. Again, like I say, that works best right there for me. Now, we're going to still stretch and I'm going to contort my face as well. And move my hand back onto my neck on the side and putting my mouth that way puffing up that cheek All right, there we go. Now, I'm going to change up the handle, and I'm changing my, where my hand is. Okay. Change the angle, and now grab there and just pull back for me. And I'm going to stretch out my mouth that way and puff it out. And now here, what's going to happen is I'm going to try from different angles in different ways. But I'm basically going to be pulling the skin like that and smiling.
There we go. Now we'll clean that blade off and get the other side. And this soap is just incredibly creamy and uh, really got great cushion. All right, so there we go. Now, same thing on this side, except for it, I just stretch from a little different angle. And I do the same thing with my mouth. There we go. Now get that blade cleaned off again. Now what I'm doing here is I'm kind of pointing my lips that way, puffing out my cheek and holding back the other direction. And now here, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just changing the angle. Now, here I'm going to get go sideways with the open mouth. Okay. Now, I clean that blade off again. Switch hands and let's do a little refresh. Got more than enough soap. Don't know if I really need it down there, but we'll do it anyway. Same thing here as I did on the other side. And then for this section, again, I'm going to open my mouth, go across. There we go. All right, pass two complete. So let's go ahead and get that cleaned off, see how we did. Felt good. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice, those cheeks are brilliant. Right where we want them. Yep, good second pass. All right, coming up next is a pass and a half. 
Now that's primarily going to be my jawline and my neck. Okay. And again, it's all about stretching and learning what works for you. Now this is primarily going to be against the grain for me. Now everybody's different, so your beard, you're going to have to figure it out and figure out what works. Now this does work for me. I'm not saying you need to do this or this is the only way. This is just the only way I've found to get my neck really good. I have not been able to find another way that works better than this. So there's that. Okay, dry off those hands. And I reach around, grab that ear and pull it back. And puff up my cheek and point my mouth in the other direction. Okay, then grab my jaw. <laughs> I forgot what this is called. Grab my jaw right here. And now I, I kind of try to puff out my neck and get it as flat as I can. And pull back right there like that. And that works pretty well for me. Till I come to there. And then I got to switch it up. And now I'm, see what I'm doing with my mouth? Smiling again, getting that chin pointed up and I'm going to hold down. And just keep moving that hand. That off hand just needs to be wherever it needs to be. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, we'll clean that blade off again. And we're going to switch hands. I'm going to reach around now with my other off hand and grab that ear and pull it back and then do my cheek thing again okay then I grab my jaw Try to flatten everything out as much as I can. Okay, and now I'll grab my neck, chin up, smile. There you go. Now, I'm going to grab here again. We're going to just finish off that chin. There we go. There's that side. 
Now let's get this other side. Again, just stretching and smiling for me. All right, there you go. The half pass is done and we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and get that washed off and see how we did. I think we did great though. Oh yeah. Nice. Very nice. Nice relaxing Sunday evening shave. All right. Here we go. Now, alum everywhere. Like that. And dry that off. There we go. Now for our aftershave tonight. There's lavender. It works so well with this soap. And it is wonderful. I really enjoy the scent on this. And it's so good for the skin. I just put it everywhere. Yes, I do. Really nice. Mm, wonderful. Okay. And then to top the shave off. Nivea Post Shave Balm. Got to like it. This is good stuff. You know, we got to take care of our skin, guys. So, a little bit of this fix you right up. Rehydrate that skin. All right, there you go. Hey, thank you so much. I really appreciate all you guys do for me. Click right over here to see episode one if you missed it. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment. Share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.